So a few days ago on a flea market, I came across these two Pokemon games, which were released in 1996 and 1999. And after almost 20 years, uh, the battery died in both of them. Uh, actually, the blue edition, the battery is still somewhat good, because sometimes it would save, and sometimes when you turn on uh, your Game Boy again, uh, the save is just gone. So it's a little flaky, and it's about to die, actually. It doesn't really save anymore, so yeah. But here's an easy way to open these cartridges uh, without the extra tool you need for the Nintendo screws on the back here. Because they use these uh, really weird uh, screws on the back here, which you can't really open if you don't have a special tool. Now, tools on Amazon are like one or two bucks or something, that they're super cheap, they're readily available, and you can get them super easily. But if you're in a hurry and you want to change your battery on these cartridges without actually owning a tool like this, uh, well, what are you gonna do? It's, it's, yeah. So today I'm going to show what you actually can do. And all, all you need is a lighter and a plastic pen. And you may already guess where this is going. Uh, I've already tried it once, like a few years ago, and I made a tip for, uh, for it to, to open them already. But sadly, it uh, sadly, it is worn out already and it doesn't work anymore. So today I'm going to reheat the tip of this and stick it on, get a print uh, of the screw on the pen. You can use basically anything, like a, a pen or uh, anything that has a plastic body you don't need anymore. And uh, it's super easy, I said. So let's get started here. Just take your lighter, uh, heat up the tip here of the pen. Just a tiny little bit. Don't heat it up too much because you don't want to. Yeah, you don't want to get it to start burning like I did, and just press it on there firmly for a few seconds till it hardens again. Don't be concerned that uh, the plastic will stick to the cartridge because uh, they do not stick to each other. So after a few seconds, just pull it off again, and you have a perfect imprint. And as you can see, it left a perfect imprint of the screw here. So. Now you can go ahead and open the cartridge after refocusing here. Uh, you can just use this and screw the cartridge open. Now I may have done this a little too quickly because it's not deep enough, but you can redo that as many times as you want actually. So heat it up again. Should get in frame here. Okay, so this attempt was a fail too. Uh, I've worn out the plastic again, or the plastic frets, which left an imprint uh, from the screw here on the plastic. So I have to redo this again, which is a little bit annoying. But this, is, as I said, it's just a temporary solution. If you want something that lasts, just buy the tools or something. But if you're in a hurry or something, use this method uh, if it works. Let's heat this up again and form it in the cone shape. Once more. Let's heat it up a little again. Form it even more. I should use pliers to kind of pull this thing and I don't have any pliers uh, around me currently. I'll just use this plastic here because it shouldn't stick and try and form this a little bit more. Because don't don't touch it with your bare hands because it's super hot even through this plastic here. So I have a cone shape now, a pretty good one too. So let's heat the plastic up again and try making a screw imprint here. It should hopefully work this time. If it starts burning, just blow it out again. And let's try this now. Oh, that looks super good. As I said, you may have to try this a few times for it to work. And you, you will probably not be able to open many cartridges with that. Simply because the frets on the plastic will break down again. Because it's super fragile, it's, it's super hard plastic and everything. And we're trying to open a metal thing here. Uh, 
So they will break down almost instantly if you if you try to use this. Uh, you, you can you can open one or two cartridges with this method, but nothing permanent. So let's see, it sticks again. So by the way, uh, there's no damage done to the cartridge itself, as I mentioned earlier, everybody, because these things don't stick too well. Just a little bit of rocking, and they will come loose. And these threads look okay. Okay, yes, it should probably work, I'm not sure. It's still super warm, so I will not attempt it until it's cooled off again. Okay, let's see if it will work now. There we go. Now it did work. So you, you need a few tries to actually do that, and now it's open, and you can change the battery. Now let's try the second cartridge. Yep. Also works there. Second cartridge is open too. So, as I said, this is just a temporary solution. You can do it, but uh, it's already a little worn out, so I will probably be able to just screw them back together and it will break after that. So, yeah, now change your battery, screw them back together, and enjoy Pokemon for the next 15 years. Thanks for watching this video. If you did like it, leave a like. If you have any suggestions, please leave them in the comments below. And if you didn't like this video, a dislike of course works too. But please leave a comment if you do that. Uh, I simply want to know why you dislike the video and what I can improve in the future. So, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.